This is the future of medical education. Students at the VCU School of Medicine in Richmond, Virginia are learning the art and craft of medicine using today's technology to prepare for tomorrow's patients. This is the James W. and Francis G. McLaughlin Medical Education Center. In this 12-story, 200,000 square foot building, students are using innovative state-of-the-art technology designed to complement an equally innovative 21st century student-centered curriculum. VCU School of Medicine has come a long way from the early innovations that made it a much admired school even within a year of accepting its first students in 1838. Every turn of this new building reveals a new technology-rich innovation. These learning tools give life to a curriculum that is taught not only in traditional classroom spaces, but also in the environments where future doctors will practice medicine, learning spaces that are dynamic and highly interactive. The Learning Theater, where professors can project data on the big screen while students follow along on their personal computers. The Center for Human Simulation and Patient Safety, where experiential learning takes place with task trainers and high-fidelity mannequins. The exam rooms, where medical students work with standardized patients who are actors posing as patients and then use video review to critique themselves. The flexible learning spaces, giving faculty and students opportunities to work together closely, sharing information from the walls to the screen. And then there are the unique learning studios. This evolution in medical education motivates students to learn and discover in small groups, to collaborate on findings, share, and challenge each other. Uh, a 20-year-old woman is referred by her primary care physician for hyperthyroidism. Hair and skin could be more of a hyperthyroid symptom devoider. Yeah, you're right, because it's mostly for the regular heartbeats, tremors, anxiety. Yeah. The high-tech collaboration systems in the learning studios create an interactive learning opportunity for students. They work together to discover the paths toward treatment of diseases and injuries, a vital component of the new curriculum. While they are learning the material, these students are also teaching each other actively participating in their education. Many of the learning sessions are also recorded, giving students the ability to review material outside the classroom and at their own pace. The way that they design the room and, and the shape of the table really kind of helps with the collaboration. When you're in a big lecture theater, uh, a lot of times you have to turn around to, you know, to interact with your peers. Um, here, it's a more open environment. You're, you're facing each other from the start. Um, we can share notes, we can see each other's computer screen, and, and that really helps us to be more collaborative and more interactive with each other and kind of teach each other as we go through a lecture. It teaches us very early on how to utilize each other's best talents, how to um, interact with people with different personalities, different skill sets, different approaches to things, and um, it definitely teaches us very early on that collaborative team effort in order to target a problem and solve it. Medicine's not a field that you practice uh, alone in, in your own little bubble. Um, so it's, it's very helpful to be able to, uh, to start working as a group and learning as a group from the start. Perhaps the most important innovation in the McLaughlin Medical Education Center is how it was designed. Rarely has a medical school been able to construct a new facility from scratch and have it dovetail directly with a new curriculum. We collectively were able to develop what we think is an incredibly innovative and unique curriculum with simulation, with interprofessional training, with um, real forethought in terms of where medicine is moving uh, in the next century. We're forced to think on our feet a lot um, and that is going to be the case in our careers in the future so being the kind of the first guinea pig so to say of the curriculum and um, with all this new technology and getting to try it out first it really helps us I think be a little bit more proactive as learners um, as well as being a little bit more flexible as well in a learning environment and understanding that you know things um, are not static they're very dynamic. 